Good morning everyone. The time has come as I can now finally record in the editing room. Yes, it has finally happened. Because I've finished recording the editing room tour, I can now actually record segments of video in this very room. I'm very, very excited. Now, if you haven't seen the editing room tour, please do check out the video that was put on the channel earlier today. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. And also, I have got a live broadcast planned for today, so please do check that out on the channel. It's happening at round about 6 p.m. GMT, so don't miss it. I'm hoping that the technology works and I can bring you a live broadcast and answer your questions about what you've seen in the editing room tour. So I'm really looking forward to that and I just hope that you have a fantastic day today as well. As well as the editing room tour, and the live broadcast, you're also going to be hopefully tweeting me questions for the weekend long Q&A session. That's what I do every weekend now. It's a very, very popular sort of way of answering questions and I love doing it. I love just getting tech questions. I could talk about technology all day. But anyway, the day that this is being recorded on is Friday, so I hope you all have a fantastic Friday. You're going to be midway through your weekend when you're watching this video, so I hope you have a fantastic weekend too. I'm now going to get on with some editing and see what the rest of the day brings. I just watched back yesterday's video and I was disgusted at the state of the cooker. So I decided to give it a quick clean. I'm actually sort of almost finished, but it was just horrible. I couldn't believe how bad we let this get. I normally clean it every couple of days. I must have just missed it one day. But anyway, it's looking a lot, lot better now. I just... Uh, I find it really hard sometimes because I get so busy keeping up with all of the work is extremely hard so I've taken a break and uh, decided to at least make this look nice and shiny so that it can be cooked on again there we go job done so I'm just off to my physio appointment this is appointment number three I think now last week, just to bring you up to date, I didn't actually have any massage on my leg, I just had a um, ultrasound treatment. And this time around it should be back to having a combination of the massage and the ultrasound. But it seems to be doing some good, fingers crossed, it is improving quite a bit, so very, very pleased with that. Also, I'll just let you know that back at the studio I just took delivery of a new office chair. Uh, and it's from a company called GT Omega Racing. And they very kindly sent me a chair to test and to bring you a review about. Now it's going to be a first because for a long, long time I've talked to you about my chairs, the Herman Miller chair, and then I had a white chair in the studio, and then my orange chair that's also in the studio at the moment. And it's been a long time since I've shown you a new chair, and probably the first time actually on the channel where I've actually brought you a review of a chair because all the other chairs I've shown you have been incorporated into other videos, mainly when I do the various room tours. So it's gonna be really nice to use this for probably about two or three weeks and then I'll let you know how it's actually been performing. I'm sitting here at traffic lights at the moment and I'm hoping they turn green because otherwise I'm gonna be late for my appointment. So that's the physio done, which is good and uh, progressing well. I've got to get a blood test apparently, just to check that I've not got an issue with, uh, uh, what was it he said, fibromyalgia or something, I don't know, I didn't understand the wording, but something just to check, uh, where it just causes sort of tendons and muscles to uh, be shorter when they've got no reason to be, because I'm not doing any sort of real physical sport that would cause any injury, so he just said to get that checked and we just continue as we are, but things seem to be improving, which is good. So now I've got to get back to the studio and do some editing. I've got three videos to edit, and it's a beautiful sunny day, so if I can get those videos done quickly enough and uh, finish up and happy where I am with the day, then I might go out for a little walk. I've also got to do a parcel run as well. Seems like it's all parcels lately. I mentioned this in yesterday's video. I just seem to be packing product after product to send back. And um, it's so time consuming, but it has to be done. I'm just passing the, a car wash as well. I really need to get the car washed, but I'll try and actually 
washed the car myself over the weekend, I think. So it's now coming up to five o'clock and I've managed to do all of my editing. I also managed to put together this. This is the GT Amiga Pro racing chair that I mentioned a little while ago. And it went together pretty well. It took about 20, 30 minutes. It was a little bit tricky in parts. And I'm obviously gonna reserve my judgment of this because I haven't tested it yet. I wanna use it for a couple of weeks before I let you know my opinion on the chair. But initial impressions are that it's very, very comfortable indeed and a really good value as well. But I'll let you know more about that when I actually uh, share my review with you. So the rest of the evening for me, well, I'm gonna cook and then I've got to run my daughter to this event that she's organised. We've got to pack the car, unpack it the other end, and then I've got to pick her up a lot later, probably about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, something like that. Um, but I'm very, very proud, really proud, that she's managed to organise pretty much all of this event by herself. Obviously, the students at the school get guidance from their teachers, but they let them do an awful lot when it comes to organising events. And I think it's a great skill to have. I probably don't say it often enough to her, but I am very, very proud. So I must say that later, I must remember to, to tell her that. Another thing, my Mac Format magazine arrived and I've skimmed through it. There's a really interesting product in there called a U-Shot 2 and it's similar to the uh, arm that I've got my camera on at the moment. It allows you to sort of stretch the camera out and get a wider angle shot and hold it really steadily. Uh, so I'm going to check that out online and try and get one of those into review. So that would be a really interesting product. Uh, also, the project that I'm working on that I think I mentioned earlier. Did I mention it earlier today or not? Well, if I didn't, I'm working on this project. I'm hoping to be able to share some more details about it with you soon. But it's shaping up very, very nicely indeed. It's been a lot of hard work though. So anyway... That's it for today's video. I'm not going to get a chance to record any more video later. I'm really sorry, but I'm going to be a taxi driver. I'm just going to be driving backwards and forwards, and it's going to be a lot of work. I'm not going to be able to carry the camera. I'm not going to be able to record because there's going to be, almost couldn't get my words out there, there's going to be other students there, and I obviously haven't got their permission to include them in the video. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please, as always, leave me some comments, hit that like button, and I'll see you all in the next one thanks so much for watching the video if you'd like to watch another amazing video from me please do click that top box and if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel click the red box on the bottom of your screen now thanks for watching i'll see you next time